Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 31st of January 2023. Let's start with our session. What is the name of the 5th Stealth Scorpion class submarine which was recently commissioned into the Indian Navy? So Indian Navy's 5th Stealth Scorpion class submarine the name of which is INS Vagir was commissioned into the Indian Navy at the Naval Dockyard in Mumbai. Okay, and already we know that six Scorpion class submarines are being built in India by Mezagon Dockyard Shipbuilders Limited, Mumbai, under collaboration with MS Naval Group, France, right? And under which project? So the project name is Project 75. So Agir has the distinction of having the lowest build time among all indigenously manufactured submarines. Okay. What are the name of other five Scorpion class submarine? So first is Ines Kalvari. Then second is Ines Khanderi. Third is Ines Karanj. Fourth is Ines Vela. Fifth is obviously INS Vagir and the sixth and the final submarine is INS Vagshir. These are the names of the six submarines under this project. Fine. Next is World Bank has appreciated which country for its transition from poorest to one of the fastest growing countries. So the World Bank has recently appreciated the country Bangladesh as one of the world's greatest developing countries. So this country has moved from being one of the poorest at its inception to one of the fastest growing countries of the world. And the country's 6% average economic growth per annum since 2000 has lifted millions of people out of poverty. And it started with the status of poverty in 1972 then it became a lower middle income country in 2015 and now it is on the way to becoming an upper middle income country fine so this country is bangladesh next is as per the finance ministry data the atal pension yojana subscribers figure crossed which milestone in 2022 actually atal pension yojana is a pension scheme targeted towards unorganized sector workers and it saw the highest ever subscribers in 2022 with enrollments rising to 36 percent so this figure has recently crossed 10 million for the first time in a calendar year and the data has been released by finance ministry and the number of enrollments in 2022 rose to 12.5 million from 9.2 million in 2021 and the majority of subscribers that means nearly 82 percent of subscribers have chosen for a 1000 rupees per month plan fine so this is 10 million we have crossed the 10 million subscriber figure for the first time in atal pension yojana Next is, which city is the host of the Business 20 meet as a part of G20? So as a part of India's G20 presidency, a Business 20 inception meeting was organized at Gandhinagar in the state of Gujarat. And the first B20 meeting was attended by over 500 delegates who discussed upon different type of global issues like climate change, sustainability, digital transformation and financial inclusion during each session. Okay, so the host of B20 meeting is Gandhinagar, Gujarat. Now also you have to remember that recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi has interacted with youngsters on Netaji Jayanti, which is also known as the Parakram Divas. So he interacted with youngsters who are selected under Know Your Leader program at his residence. And nearly 80 youngsters 
were selected from across the country to participate in this floral tribute function in the parliament in the honor of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. So you can be asked that what is the name of the program that has been launched to spread awareness about the lives of national icon. So this is Know Your Leader program. And uh, yesterday we have seen that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has named 21 islands of Andaman and Nicobar after Param Veer Chakra awardees to give them due honor and respect, right? Next is, when was the Uttar Pradesh Foundation Day celebrated every year? So Uttar Pradesh came into existence on 24th of January 1950 when the Governor General of India passed United Provinces Order 1950 by renaming United Provinces as Uttar Pradesh. So this is the 74th Foundation Day of Uttar Pradesh which is being celebrated as UP Day. And on this occasion, several schemes including Chief Minister Handicraft Pension Scheme, Handicraft Marketing Promotion Scheme and Exemption in Stamp Duty were launched. Okay. And also people were awarded with Rani Lakshmi Bai Puraskar and the Lakshman Puraskar. Fine. So Uttar Pradesh was founded on 24th of January and this was its 74th Foundation Day. Next is Ministry of Ayush partnered with which institution to promote vertical value travel in Ayurveda. So Ministry of Ayush has signed a memorandum of understanding with India Tourism Development Corporation which works under Ministry of Tourism. Okay and under the collaboration Ministry of Ayush will provide training to the officials of India Tourism Development Corporation to sensitize them about medical value travel in Ayurveda field and in other traditional systems of medicine. So basically it will identify the tourist circuits for this purpose and a joint working group will monitor the implementation of this memorandum of understanding and it will identify the best practices that have been adopted by different countries like Malaysia, Singapore and Thailand. Okay, so that's why Ministry of Ayush has partnered with ITDC. Now next is BV Doshi who passed away recently was associated with which profession? So he was Indian veteran architect Bal Krishna Vithal Das Doshi also known as BV Doshi and recently he passed away at the age of 95 years. So he won the gold medal that is awarded by the Royal Institute of British Architects in 2022 and he has joined a select league of international architect. Also you have to remember that he was the only Indian to have been awarded the Pritzker Architecture Prize. Okay, so Bibi Doshi was associated with architecture field. Next is, which state or the union territory launched food processing program for the development of clusters? So Jammu and Kashmir government has launched this ambitious project named as UT level food processing program for the development of clusters for specific products of Jammu and Kashmir. So it is a 879.75 crore rupees initiative and aim is to maximize farmer income and minimize the post harvest loss. So this project will focus on developing 17 districts in Jammu and Kashmir with establishment of processing and marketing infrastructure. Okay, so here correct answer would be Jammu and Kashmir. Now also you have to remember that the Reserve Bank of India gave banks time till end of December 2023 to complete renewal of agreements for the existing safe deposit lockers of the customers. Okay, actually banks were earlier required to complete the process by 1st of January 2023. But now the central bank has directed them to complete work in phases with milestones of 50% by 30th of 
जून एंड सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट बाय थर्टियथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ओके सो यू कैन बी आस्ट दैट वॉट इज द न्यू डेड लाइन फॉर द बैंक टू कंप्लीट रिन्यूअल ऑफ एग्रीमेंट्स फॉर सेफ डिपॉजिट लॉकर ऑफ द कस्टमर सो दैट डेड लाइन इज डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी Which country has declared a medical emergency after malnutrition and other diseases brought by the gold mining? So, Minister of Health of Brazil has recently declared a medical emergency because there were reports of children who were dying of malnutrition and other diseases that have been brought by the gold mining. Actually, Yanomami is the country's largest indigenous reservation and after publication of photos showing here children and the people so thin president luis lula da silva visited the state fine so recently brazil has declared this medical emergency now apart from it recently amazon india has announced the launch of amazon air which is a dedicated air cargo service in india to speed up deliveries okay and uh, india is the third market where the company has launched amazon air which are the other two first is us and second is europe so this company operates a network of over 110 jets that fly to over 70 locations worldwide so amazon has tied up with quick jet cargo airline private which is a bangalore based freight carrier fine so you can be asked that which company has launched dedicated air cargo service in india to speed up deliveries so that would be amazon next is kunla with witted son who won the india open title is from which country so he is thailand shuttler and recently he won the india open title and he has defeated victor excelsen who is from the country denmark right so he has defeated victor excelsen in the men's singles final of indian open badminton championship that was held in new delhi and earlier also we have seen that korean player and si young won the women's singles final after beating world number 1 japanese akane yamaguchi okay so men singles has been won by kunlavut vititsar and women single winner is an singh next is in the fih hockey men's world cup 2023 which country defeated india in the crossover match so india lost 4 by 5 to the country new zealand in the penalty shootout of the fih men's hockey world cup crossover match at the Kalinga Stadium in Bhubaneswar and Spain country has defeated Malaysia with 4 by 3 in a penalty shootout in the same venue so basically it will lock horns with Australia in the quarters and uh, Australia Belgium Netherlands and England have already entered into the quarter finals fine so your correct answer would be New Zealand Next is which state has launched a scheme to rent the drones to low income farmers So Rajasthan has launched a scheme to provide the drones to the low income farmers on rent to help them monitor crops and spray the chemicals on the crop So around 1500 drones will be made available at the custom hiring centers by the state government in 2 years and these drone based spray requires less quantity of water and the pesticide and also it helps in saving water right now can you tell me which city is the host of international craft summit in india so this 3 day international craft summit is being organized in jaipur in the state of rajasthan to promote craft product from the state of odisha and this event was organized by chief minister navin patnaik through video conferencing so four united nation agencies and five unesco creative cities have partnered 
with Jajpur District Administration for the event which was attended by the delegates from total 15 countries. So you have to remember that which city is the host of International Craft Summit that is Jaipur, Rajasthan. Okay. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with our November month current affairs revision session. And this is part two in this series. So today we'll be doing the questions from question number 16 up to question number 30. Let's see which city is the host of the World Cities Day 2022 celebration. So it is celebrated on 31st of October every year to highlight the need for international cooperation to promote global urbanization. And uh, this year, the host city was Shanghai from the country China. Fine. And this year, what was the theme? Act local to go global. This was the theme. Okay. Which Indian state presents the Raja Utsav Award to eminent persons in various fields? This is Karnataka government. Karnataka government has announced the names of the recipients of Raja Utsav Award. And it is an annual award that is presented to eminent persons who have rendered significant service in different fields. Chenab White Water Rafting Festival was organized in which state or the Union Territory. So, the Doda district of Jammu and Kashmir has organized this Chinap White Water Rafting Festival under the Back to Village Phase 4. And this festival has been started to promote adventure tourism in Doda district. Jozila Pass, which was seen in the news recently, is located in which Indian state or the Union Territory? So, Jozila Pass lies in the Union Territory of Ladakh. Northeastern India's first fish museum is said to be built in which Indian state? So, the first fish museum in the Northeast India would be built in Arunachal Pradesh. Actually, one integrated aqua park has been sanctioned for each state and the Union Territory under the Pradhan Mantri Matsya Sampada Yojana. Right? Next is, what is the motto of International Open Access Week in 2022? So this week is celebrated around the world from 24th to 30th of October and it is an annual initiative to promote open access in the academic and in the research world. And this year, the motto is open for climate justice, which basically aims to raise awareness of how open access can be a means for climate justice, right? So this year, motto was open for climate justice. Seven states, including Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh, celebrate their foundation day on which particular day? So seven states like Chhattisgarh, Punjab, Haryana, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala and Andhra Pradesh along with the Union Territories of Chandigarh, Lakshadweep and Puducherry are marking their anniversaries on 1st of November. Okay. Which institution has invited comments on the proposed common ITR form? This is Central Board of Direct Taxes. They have invited the stakeholder comments on the proposed new common ITR form. Who represented India in the meeting of Shanghai Cooperation Organization Council of Heads of Government? So our external affairs minister S. Jay Shankar has represented India in this meeting of SCO Council of Heads of Government. Fine. 50 United Nations member countries issued a joint statement condemning which countries persecution of minorities. This is China. So they have issued a joint statement that condemned the Chinese government's persecution of Uyghur's community in Xinjiang province. Next is, which state launched the digital resurvey of land, Ente Bhumi, my land? So Kerala state government has launched a digital resurvey of Kerala on its 66th foundation day that is celebrated on 1st of November. So this survey aims to ensure 
speedy delivery of all land related services to the people what is the theme of invest karnataka 2022 summit so prime minister narendra modi has addressed the inaugural function of invest karnataka 2022 summit and this year theme was build for the world okay so the session was hosted by partner countries france germany netherlands south korea japan and australia indian veterinary research institute has demanded ban of which drug to be used on cattle so indian veterinary research institute has demanded a ban on using acyclofenac in cattle actually this drug metabolizes into diclofenac in water buffaloes as well as in cows and such metabolisms pose a threat to vulture population in the country fine as per a new study which species may swallow roughly 10 million microplastic pieces daily this is blue whale so they can swallow roughly 10 million of microplastic pieces daily or up to about 95 pounds of plastic which is nearly 43.5 kg of plastic next is which state is the host of the civil air navigation services organization this is goa goa is hosting this 3 day civil air navigation services organization conference in november 2022 what was the theme for this event think global collaborate regional and accomplish local okay so this was the whole theme for this event so these are the next 15 questions from the month of december and tomorrow we'll be continuing it from question number 31 up to question number 45 okay now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past 2 3 days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these questions and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your scores in the comment section so please be honest and do not cheat with yourself so that's it for today i hope you have liked the session these were the important news and events from today and we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe to gk today with this meenu satsana signing off